this is the Wimius K9. It's a newly released full HD 1080p native projector. It can upscale to 4K content as well. Check out the Amazon listing for the latest pricing information. They do run some offers from time to time, so you may find some discount codes and voucher codes that you can also use. So let's take a look what comes in the box. You have yourself the remote control, and actually this remote control has a lot more buttons than I've seen on standard projector remote controls. It even has a number pad. You can also open up some of your favorite apps as well, and you see it does have a Netflix dedicated app. Comes with the power plug, a very large user manual, a microfiber cloth, HDMI cable, so this is the iOS screen casting kit that comes in this little box. You can see it comes with this adapter, which is via HDMI. And then also the second adapter for the Wi-Fi connection is via USB. It also has a little micro USB attachment onto that as well. And you have to connect both of these together to be able to screencast from either your iPhone or your Android phone. And we will take a look at how that works a little bit later in the video. Okay, so as I'm showing you the design of the projector, I'm just putting up the key specs on the sidebar, as you can see on the screen. But you can take a look at more information of those specifications on their original website or on the Amazon listing. Now, this has a very nice gray design with a little fabric front there. You can see the sensor for the autofocus, 1080p resolution just there. Lens cap is removable and it has these nice little gold trims and accents built onto the projector. It does have quite a square design as well, and it isn't too heavy. It's pretty easy to carry as well, in case you do want to use this outdoors. You do have a power button just there at the top of the projector. You don't have any other buttons to control it manually, so you will need to use the remote control. And then on the back of the projector as well, you have yourself the Ethernet port, two USB ports, two HDMI ports, a headphone port, and the infrared receiver there. Then you just have the power port just at the bottom right. On the bottom of the projector, you do have a quarter 20 inch thread as well. So you can mount this on a tripod or you can even ceiling mount this as well. So various different positions if that's something that you would need. And it also has a little kickstand as well, just to the right side of that thread in case you want to elevate the projector at a certain angle. Okay, now I've set up the projector on my tripod. I'm just gonna go through the setup process to get logged into my apps. But you can see I've put in the HDMI TV stick and the Wi-Fi receiver into the USB port. You also have to remember to connect both of them together with this little micro USB connector, which I've connected to the TV stick just there. This would allow you to then use the apps and also screencast directly from your phone. And we will go through some of the settings on how to do the casting. Okay, so to connect to the Wi-Fi casting, whether you're on your iPhone or your Android phone, as you can see, you can just scan that QR code or you can use various other methods by going to your browser and typing in the URL provided as the IP address just there. Or you can just directly screencast from a YouTube video and it will come up with Cast TV in the settings. You can see Cast TV is just there and it connects very easily and quickly onto my Wi-Fi of my Android phone. And then I will be able to screencast. And I've just opened up the Wimius YouTube channel. You can just select the video, go to screencast, and select smart projector and you'll see behind the phone it's now playing on YouTube there you go Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look at the Linux OS built-in TV system. This is not the same as the Android TV or Google TV operating systems that you do expect from a lot of projectors. This is a custom one with the Wimius K9 brand. Now it does look very clean and it's very quick and easy to navigate. The buttons are very responsive on the remote control. You can see you have Netflix there front and center. You can go to YouTube, Prime Video. When you go to inputs at the top, this is where you can select by the home screen or the HDMI one, which was the screencasting, or if you connect any other devices, and you can also connect it from here. Let's just take a quick look at the settings. You can go into the setup, all of the general settings you would expect for a projector listed here. Picture mode, you can go and cycle through various different modes by itself, or you can do manual adjustments to any of these categories like brightness, contrast, saturation, etc. I've set it to high bright, Standard is obviously you set them to the default settings, but you can go to custom, like I mentioned, cinema, sport, or vivid. And then I'm going to leave mine on high bright. 
If you go into audio settings, you can actually set the bass and treble manually. You also have a digital output mode, which I've left as auto, but you can also go ahead and select Dolby Digital, which I will go ahead and test that out as well because I will play a sample audio video from YouTube that is from the Dolby channel. Dialogue enhancement, if you think you're getting too much of background noise or maybe the explosions in the movie are just too louder than the actual dialogue and you can't really hear what people are saying, then you can actually turn on this enhancement mode, which is quite nice. You can connect Bluetooth accessories, change your Wi-Fi settings from here. Projection, like I mentioned earlier in the video, you can actually mount this various different ways. Mine's just facing front towards the screen, so I'll just leave it as the default selection there. You can correct the keystone and you can do vertical or auto correction, but I always like to do four points correction. This is easier for me to just get it perfectly to fit my screen and you can see it's like edge to edge and it looks really great. Zoom is a really nice option that I wish a lot of projectors have. If you have a set distance that you want to place your projector, maybe you have a tabletop where you don't want to move it in various different positions and you have a set distance for the screen, then having the option to zoom down is very important. So you can go all the way down to 50% and you know that's very convenient and this is something I've always looked for. Of course, focus and then more information about the system. Now before we jump into a demo video, you're probably wondering how can you download more apps. There's a little option just here on the right hand side called App Store. If you select this, you can go in there and just browse thousands of different apps and you can just download them directly and set them as your favorites. You have categories along the top as well. If you go into entertainment, there's plenty of different entertainment apps that you can also download. There's a wide variety. You can also search and add them to your favorites as well. In addition to that, you have options for kids. You can also download the latest and newest apps that are available on the system. You can also go and look at music related apps like radio stations, music players, etc. And there's various other categories as well that you can browse through just on the top navigation here. You can even browse some of the social media as well. There's a TikTok app as well that you can get and you can even play some games on there as well. But just remember, you can also connect your HDMI external devices, whether that's an Apple TV or an Amazon Fire Stick to the HDMI port. And then that will open up access to all of the apps that you do watch content on. If you go home, there's an app here called Open Browser. And there's also a button on the remote control dedicated for this as well. This is based on the ChatGPT OpenAI. You can also do a search using ChatGPT. So when you go onto the search box, you can ask it anything and it will do that search for you. So if you want to just browse around, maybe you want to look at the latest hotels for a booking for a holiday, you can do that via the booking.com app if you do search for it like this or various other commands that you can use via these different apps available just there. So that's quite a nice touch, which I haven't seen on a lot of projectors. So now let's go ahead to YouTube and give you some sample demo videos of how this looks. And because there is a lot of daylight coming into the room right now, it is still very clear as you can see, but I'm going to go ahead and close all of the shutters on my windows and make sure it is blackout and completely dark. So you get the full experience of how this looks if you were to use this at nighttime to watch your content.
okay, you saw how clear that looked. The colors were so vibrant. The picture was bright, it was sharp. I just can't fault this. And when I do have a very dark room, this is exactly like how I would expect a projector to be to enjoy my home cinematic content. So for me, that is a very good quality and excellent value for money for the size of this projector. But in addition to not just the video looking great, let's go ahead and see more examples of how the audio sounds via a demo audio video by Dolby Digital. And just remember, I did turn on the Dolby Digital audio settings from the settings of this projector. And then hopefully it will give you a much clearer view of how great this is with not just video, but with also the great audio quality. So let's go ahead and take a look. This is Dolby Cinema. It's where the most advanced cinematic technology you've ever experienced begins. This is Dolby Atmos. The number of speakers around you no longer matters because this is the world's first object-based cinematic audio. With powerful moving audio that transcends from channels to moving around you with pinpoint accuracy. Whether the soundscape sits the mood of scene. captures the full extent of nature's fury. This is contrast that reveals details deeper than any image you've seen on a screen. This is luminance that means the difference between white and pure energy. Energy that is about to reveal an entire universe of color you've never experienced in the cinema. So the audio quality, as you heard there, was crisp, it was clear, and it was actually very nice to enjoy all of those natural sounds that you heard in the example video that I just played. Of course, there are higher end projectors that do have a much deeper base, but for the quality and for the price of this projector, this is a very nice sounding projector that would allow you to really enjoy your movies at nighttime. So that's all I wanted to showcase. The Wimius K9 I think is a great choice for those that are looking for a new home theatre system and are on a little bit more of a budget than those really high end premium projectors. The quality especially paired with an ALR screen you can't really fault that as you can see here it's just very clear so if there's any other questions you have about this projector and its capabilities then as always just drop a comment down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can if you do like the look of this projector and the look of the quality make sure to like this video make sure to subscribe and i will see you all at the next one take care